Hello, friends! I am so happy that you've all come to visit me here today at This Side Up, where we will be unboxing the most high-end toys and show you the most interesting things. Today, we will continue with the Star Wars universe. Who's going to be next? This Imperial Death Stormtrooper or Captain Phasma? What do you think? Yes, today we will be unboxing Captain Phasma from The Force Awakens. I want to build the First Order Commanders from this movie. I already have Kylo Ren, and if you want to see me unboxing his figure, you'll find the links in the description below. But now, let's take her out and see how cool she really is. Friends, don't forget that we will always be happy to hear from you about what toy you want to see us unbox next. You can write your suggestions in the comments below, and we will do our absolute best to unbox your toy here on this side of... Friend, I have some new facts about LEGO for you today. Even though the LEGO minifigures aren't sentient beings, I'm sorry for anybody who believes they were, if they were real and had their own country, their nation would be the largest single population on Earth. Their numbers are holding strong at over 4 billion worldwide. If we line them all up human centipede style, they would stretch from London to Beijing. The other fact that truly blew me away, we could debate all day whether the automotive playsets count as real cars, but the fact that a toy company makes more tires than any actual tire companies in the world is just insane. Companies that rely 100% on the manufacturing and sale of tires don't make as many tires as the company that makes little people, spaceships, boats, and the building blocks that create anything you could imagine. <laughs> As I think about these facts more, I think that LEGO has some megalomaniacal desires, meaning they want to take over the world. And buildable figures are just one of their weapons. So let's look at the box of our hero today. I love Captain Phasma and her chrome armor, red-edged black cape, and silver blaster. This figure does a great job in capturing Captain Phasma's character. On the other side, we see some of the characteristics of her weapon. I'm really glad that she doesn't have any of the previously seen mechanisms. Frankly speaking, I really didn't like them very much. But, it's time to open up the box. Here are some of the packets with the parts, a piece of cloth for a cape, the instruction, and a base for the skeleton. Alright, the big packet contains body parts and the headpiece. Here it is. In the small packet, we have the fittings for our figure. Ooh. I found one more cool picture in the instructions. It looks really awesome. So let's open up the packets and take a closer look at all the parts. I think the headpiece deserves a little special attention. Phasma's helmet is extremely detailed, including all the little scratches and dents, and is really movie accurate. They do a great job with all the headpieces. I also love her cape. I think it will finish out her image perfectly. Everything is ready, and I think you know what's coming up next. Of course, I will tell the story of this character. Clad in a distinctive armor of salvaged chromium, Captain Phasma commands the First Order's Legion of Stormtroopers. A tough veteran commander, she has no use for fancy titles or complex war rooms, preferring to lead her troops in battle against the First Order's enemies from the front line. Phasma served as one of the First Order's commanding triumvirate, that means three, though she sometimes clashed with both the technocratic General Hux and the mysterious Kylo Ren. She has worked tirelessly to make the First Order stormtroopers the galaxy's finest soldiers, searching for any sign of weakness or disobedient, disobedience in the ranks to quell it. Oh yeah, she has a tough and imperious look. I like this character in the movie in spite of the fact that she doesn't really get much screen time. But let's see how Lego handles her image. We start with the body.
everything works pretty good. Now we have the whole body with legs and hands. I want to put together a blaster. And I really like the design of it. It's awesome. Now, we finally put on the cape and attach the head. All right. Captain Phasma is ready. A little review of the figure. She stands pretty tall and imposing, like Kylo Ren. Her metallic silver armor is cool, but chrome, it's not my favorite thing, honestly. The detailing is great, and it, it lets you show things off, but no, I'm just not a fan. It's too flashy. I'm glad that the back of her legs are armored as well. Her cape is a bit troublesome in play, and uses a metallic silver bolt piece to hold it in there, which is odd, Otherwise, the figure is great. And now, I have a question for all the LEGO Star Wars fans out there. My question is, what is the most famous phrase of Captain Phasma? I will be especially interested to read all your answers in the comments below. But now, it's time to rate this toy. Safety gets four points. Her spring-loaded blaster can be kind of dangerous. Be careful. Watch your eyes. Just like that Red Rider BB gun. Then, quality. Five points. The plastic is nice and it's pretty easy to build. Next, originality. Five points. It really doesn't have any weird mechanisms, but the design is very good and it's very different from every other Stormtrooper out there. Packaging, five points. As always, everything is very well packed. The last is price. Here's a big problem with this figure. It's really expensive. It's pretty overpriced. It falls in at about 24 cents per piece. That's a lot. Dear friends, I really hope that you like this buildable Star Wars Lego Captain Phasma figure as much as I did. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be waiting for your questions and remember to think about the toy that you would like to unbox with me next. So until then, I'll see you soon here at This Side Up. Bye bye!